All right, here I am. I'm testing out this Aver Media 2 Plus. Uh, I have a video of the setup coming up. For this video, I'm just wanting to test it to make sure it's working properly. I got it hooked up with my HyperX uh, headphones and um, the Nintendo Switch, of course, and my Power A Pro controller. I'm gonna play through the demo of Arms. I played it before, but I really like it. Uh, well, I like the demo, so I'm playing again. It's, I was hoping it was gonna go on sale for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I'm holding out hope. Today's November 25th, Sunday. Uh, I think we're kind of done for the sales, but I'm hoping that it might be on sale for Cyber Monday. If it is, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, I just have a hard time paying 60 bucks for it when it's you know a year plus old. But we're gonna play the demo again. Normally I play this mummy guy. Uh, you know, this game is very Nintendo-like. The characters are fun. This guy's cool. Uh, I've never seen that guy play yet. Uh, I've never seen that guy either. Or him. Or her. Uh, normally, I just, I've seen this cop play once. Anyhow, I usually pick the mummy. Uh, there's the ninja guy, but I'm going to go with the base man here. Old spring man. I'll select him. Springily. That's funny. So, sometimes I'm a cynic and I think Nintendo's silly, but then sometimes it's pretty fun. So, you gotta go through the full demo. I played the demo before, but uh, they're smart. You can't just get in there and have a fight. You gotta go through this whole thing, so it will kind of keep you from just playing it over and over again. Sorry, right, we gotta go through the initial demo. Uh, left and right. And there you go, L to move, of course. Y to dash. I assume that comes in, it doesn't really do much in the demo. I assume you'll need that more as the game progresses. Uh, a or B to punch. I guess that makes you punch faster. But it didn't last very long. Alright, so now we should be in a regular fight once I hit this button. Her hands are pretty neat looking. So I guess in this weird world, I don't know if these people are cyborgs or what. They got some weird arms, so. Funny, I've been playing a lot of Mutant Football League, and I guess this little commentator guy is—he's a lot different than—he's uh, <laughs> a lot different than the commentator on Mutant Football League. So I had the original NES. Oh, there's this guy I was saying I've never seen before. So that's pretty cool. It's interesting, this one, you can... He does what you make him do in this one. Like, you can make him punch. I don't know what the point is. I guess it's just a loading screen. I'm going to choose a little boomerang. And this little trap bolt. So you can change your arms. I think if you play the full game, you can level up. Uh, the guy has a little guy floating next to him, like the cop does. Oh, and now where's the face? So the boomerang's pretty neat, because it seems like no matter what you do, it's gonna go towards him. Like, I'm pointing the opposite direction and still hitting him. And then this guy kind of does a three-way punch no matter what. Oh, what's that? I've never seen that.
Oh, those are those little side pieces. You can jump off those. I don't know if it does anything for you. That's cool. This one I'm gonna go back to just a regular fist. I call them toasters, I don't know if they do anything different or not. Oh, he's dodging me good. I don't know if you punch yourself out or not. Uh oh. A lot of fighting games you get tired if you throw too many punches like in a UFC game. Not in the Switch of course, but you'll get tired. Oh you see how his little arm has a little caution light looking side? Well it did. So like if you keep hitting one side his arm will kind of fall off I think or break. Oh we got the same. Oh that sucked. I'm trying to break his arm, and I'm gonna end up dying. So I'm assuming there's stuff here I don't understand, because I don't know why he can do that little tornado looking thing. And his mass seems to keep changing. I don't know if my guy has any special fires like that or not. That was a good end scene. So if you're watching this, leave me a comment and let me know if you have this game. I don't know why you watch the demo if you have the game. Unless you just want to hear how cool I sound. People love my voice. No one leaves me comments saying my voice gives them cancer or any horrid stuff like that. <laughs> or people call me a drug addict. YouTube is really nice. They really say super friendly stuff. So... I'm gonna go back to my friend Boomerang and Travel. I like that. I think this is girl's the same one I said. I never saw before. Or since I'm from Kentucky, I'll say stuff like I've never seen that before. I don't know what that little bounce move is. So yeah. That's another thing. Oh look, see I broke her arm there. So I, I was marveling at my work and didn't take advantage of that but in theory she couldn't defend herself on that one side and I assume these get harder the demo is pretty easy but obviously it's the demo uh, so my son also has a switch oh what was that I've never seen that before that was pretty cool I don't know how I did it. I think I hit grab after I did that turbo thing. I like that. I'm gonna go double trap bolts. I like those guys. Boomerang seems a little unfair, but I guess it's not unfair because there also wouldn't be. Oh, well, oh, that she bounced me back. That was neat. So this game is a lot of fun. Uh, back when I was just a regular PlayStation type guy or an Xbox guy, I generally only played games like. Uh, WWE games or UFC games. Well, like I played The Last of Us, but always what people would ask me about it. Game, of course, it's a common question people ask each other. And so I would always say I'm the worst kind of gamer. I just like games where you can punch people in the face. And that's pretty much all this game's about is just punching people. Let's try this again, see if I can tornado. No. Nope. Oh, she blocked it all. I still won. But yeah, so this game is all about punching people in the face. So it seems like something that you love. So ideally, this probably is a game I want to get. But again, I still... Like if this just came out yesterday, I'd be paying 60 bucks for it. No problemo. But, uh, sorry to drop a little Spanish on you there. You're a little bilingual. I didn't, uh... Yeah, so this is the end of the demo.
Because I don't know what Party Crash is. I guess you just fight online against people, but that'd probably be fun. I don't know if I care about badges, but then uh, I say that, but then we get really. Hey, that one looks like uh, that one on the right hand side looks kind of like Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's one of my favorite games. So let's check the eShop just to see if it went on sale. I don't think it did. Uh, there was a lot of sales this weekend, of course. I picked up a bunch of stuff already. Yeah, see, still full 59.99. It just seems too high. So, now, I already had Hollow Knight. Fortnite course is free. I've already subscribed to the Switch Online. Warframe is free. I just downloaded that. Donkey Kong I picked up on a uh, sale. 40% off, I believe. And the Gungeon, I think, was 50% off. It was like 8 bucks or something. Inside was also on sale. And Doom was definitely 50% off because I was having a hard time deciding between Doom, Skyrim, or Wolfenstein. Uh... And Mutant Football League already owned, and I love that game. And Napoli also already owned, which is fun. Well, it got a lot of bad rap on the forums, but the one I have has no problems, really. All right, so just checking in. If you play ARMS, feel free to let me know. I might pick it up. And there's my friend code. So if you want to play some games with me, Oh, I had the wrong button. There's my friend code. Feel free to send me. If I'm not, I don't play a lot of online games, but I do have Mutant Football League. We can play that game. That game's fun. And if I buy arms, I guess uh, that would also help. All right. Thanks for watching.